so my exhibit is a month away and I still need some small art. Welcome back friends. So um, today I decided I'm going to do another collage. Now the papers keep piling up. I'm doing, I'm making so many gel prints, but I'm not doing enough collage. So uh, I love when I work on these small panels. I just love the way they come out in the end. I'm always so pleased. I struggle through them, but then in the end, I, I love the result. Anyway, let's stop talking and let's just go work. Okay, so I pulled out a bunch of papers and I had every intention of using some of these, especially that like transparent one right there and this one I'm holding in my hand. Um, I was like looking for a color story. I was looking for simple papers and busy papers, you know, small textures, large, bolder uh, textures, uh, grunge. I was looking for a little bit of everything. And a lot of these ne didn't even make it into the collage. You will see what I picked in a minute, but you know, some of the things I thought I wasn't going to use, I ended up using. And some of the things that I didn't even pull out in the beginning ended up in the collage. All right. So let's, let's see, we'll do something like maybe varying widths like that. Put this at the top, maybe, possibly. I love this color combo. I'm not too crazy about that, but I think it's gonna get covered up because I'm gonna put something over the middle that marries with the other two that I've done that are the same size panel. This is for my exhibit in May. And all three of these will hang together, so I'm thinking that I'm going to introduce the same mulberry, black mulberry paper in that area right here is what I'm thinking. So, and I don't know where this is going to come in, probably nowhere. Oh, maybe, maybe it's going to overlap in one of the stripes. That might be good. Um, depends on what color stripes I use. Actually, this yellow was screaming at me earlier as, as a stripe because I love the simplicity, but the grunge. Also, this color is a nice strong color. Maybe that could be the skinnier stripe. Of course, then I have to decide. Oh, 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 I forgot about this paper. Oh my God. Yeah, this paper might have to go down here. Look at that. And then maybe we tear paper, I think. Maybe cover up some of the white areas and just bring in some other shapes and colors. And maybe this is where I can overlay this a little bit. I don't know, it's gonna be busy, I think. I, don't know. I need one focal point. I was hoping it was gonna be this and this. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just, this is rice paper and this is a blackboard. So I might have to put something underneath it first. Maybe if I put this underneath or find some other really simple paper, then I could put this on top. And if you see that other paper underneath, it won't be so bad. I don't know. I, sh I, fall I shouldn't fall in love with the paper. Okay, so let's not fall in love with this paper. We will use it for something else. This might be, just doesn't fit with this. This is definitely going to be a stripe, a stripe. Yeah, I'm going to leave this color out of it because these two will be better along with that. 
And I might have to just go find some more papers. Let me see, does this, anything here work? Maybe when I tear it. See, I also have another piece that I could bring in down here like this. But I need something for the background. And I want something simple. I, I don't want it to be too busy. Okay, I've got to go look some, at some more papers, but I'm, a plan is coming together. Okay, so I think I have a plan. I think I'm going to anchor this at the bottom in the dark. I made these papers for the sides of one of my canvases, and uh, they were meant to be like subtle patterns on the side of the canvas. So I think I'm going to anchor that and you know, glue this, 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 you know, my stripes and this, and then we will collage on top of that. Okay, I'm glad we got a, we got a solution. I could not find the right paper. Just no matter what I, no matter what I did, I could not find the paper that really, that just said yes. Okay, I'm gonna use this smaller one so it'll be more portable. And definitely going to start with this, but I'm going to cut some stripes. Okay. So I think I want this to be a thinner one. Well, this one doesn't have all of the lines like my bigger one does. So I'm going to try to eyeball it as close as I can. So cutting these strips was really challenging on this mat. I don't know what I was thinking. I really should have pulled out the bigger one. But anyway, we'll move on. So first I decide that I'm going to like use the width of my ruler, but that was, that was too thick. So I start to like trim these down and then, you know, then I thought, wow, maybe they're too similar. I wanted them to be like, you know, a small, medium, large kind of thing. Like, these were too similar, so then I had to trim down the yellow um, to get more of a, a skinnier piece. And then I decide that I'm going to bring back in that teal piece that I had and just have like a sliver of it. And as you can see, I'm still struggling with the mat. You know, I live and learn. Just enough of that color. Okay. So I kind of like trying to see. I like this side better, I think, right here. But I don't like this white blemish. So let's go. Maybe I'll work from the bottom up. See, there's no other lines in between. So definitely the other board is so much better. Okay, so if I put this here. Then I line all these up, and then I can position that. Then it's still bottom heavy. And this is going to go here. This is definitely going to go here. I might do something other, some other thing that tucks underneath. So. I'm thinking I, I need to introduce maybe this color again down here. I don't know. It's such a pretty color. I don't know if I have papers. Okay. So here's my, my tear up bin.
definitely we're going to be using this later. So this is also from the same sheet. And I do love this purplish color. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. Oop, here's a bigger piece. giving me an idea. I should not get distracted by other pretty papers. Okay, so then we do have some transparent ones. I don't know how they'll be over the dark. So selecting the papers is like one of the hardest things. And a lot of times when you want to try to use up your scraps, you just don't always have the right colors. But here we got some nice colors. So I'll see. We've got the scrap, maybe we could use that instead. Okay, now we're really getting into old stuff. All right, before I get too distracted, I'm putting this away. That's a shame. Anyway, this is similar up here. So I might try to tear something here. We have a circle cut out there. This I don't think is gonna work. This may work. And these I don't think. All right, so let me see. Should we introduce, no. I wanna stick with this color combo. I do like this. Oh, that maybe that's a good solution here because then we're going from the teal. But we're suddenly introducing this arc, so I am going to tear it. Tear the other way. Yeah, that little piece of blue, you know, ties in with the color, the color scheme. I need something like peeking up over here. It's starting to come together. I don't know if this contrast here is too much, just a little bit too much because of this dark color in the background. And maybe, I know I said I didn't want to use the purple. Maybe the purple is a little more subtle. Just introduces a little, you know what, I'm gonna just. Okay, I need one more. One more. Now this could either be real, you know, like really skinny coming up, these two together. Once again, I need one kind of paper. So since I've already used this, maybe, I will cut a very random shape here and just um, yeah I'm a big fan of purple and red I know a lot of people think that's weird but that might do it. And then if then we will probably have a focal in the middle. Okay, so now I can finally start gluing, I think. 
And we, and we might do something on top of this still. Like I didn't, I really was going to use this paper and I didn't. So we might use just a touch of that, I don't know, piece. <sighs> a piece. Okay, so I'm going to leave these together. I'm going to start by mounting this. So you might see a lot of gold flecks on my table. I was doing some gold leaf tests this morning. And uh, so gold leaf is everywhere. Who knows, maybe some of it will end up in here. I always like to make sure that my edges are reinforced. Sometimes they dry faster and then they lift. this on a little thicker than I normally do because it's I don't know why it's drying so fast in here today could be the temperature in the room See how easy that edge was just lifting? So that's why I always double check, lift it, put more glue, gel medium, just actually what I'm using, gel medium. Okay, now we just have to add this little bit here. I might wait for it to dry before I add the other pieces to the bottom. And the reason for that is um, I have a little bit of buckling going on and I think that that will all flatten out. Most likely it will flatten out. I'm going to leave that little bit of black there. I like that. Yeah, so we will trim the edges after it all dries, and then we will put these final pieces in. Okay, so I'm going to trim up the edges. I'm going to wipe some of this glue.
So one of the things that I realized is if I use this here in the center area, overlapping top and bottom, you don't really see it over this pattern. So I found this little bit and I might put it here. It'll probably, because it's rice paper, not rice paper, it's deli paper, it might still darken, but it will still allow some of this to show through, unless I can find another piece. What I might do first is get these two pieces down. These as well. I think I had that like that. But I might not need, mm, I might not need that. If I'm going to use this, it almost looks like it was cut from that. Maybe that was meant to be. So I'm thinking, I don't really like this, but I love that little bit of yellow. Let's check it out. Let's see if it works. I'm going to cut it right here very lightly. This paper is so thin, you barely need to touch it with a blade. Um, let's see what happens when we glue it down. It might go so dark that I might hate it. Or it might be just enough color. I don't know. I hate it. Let's see if I can get it off now. Yeah. The deli paper doesn't rip apart. Okay, so we didn't like that. But we still have to come up with a solution because um, this is still not going to show up. The other, other option is I could put it all the way up here and only have it up here um, and go back to my original idea of using these two little pieces of paper. Mm. You know what? I don't like it at all. This, this is not going to work either. So what I'm going to do is put the black up here. That, that's it. I'm going to leave all of this in here. I like the darkness. I think it's adding to this. I think if I try to fill in this area just so I can use that mulberry paper in the center, it's going to be horrible. So we're going to have it anchored up higher and we'll just glue these down as they are here. So I'm going to start with the purple one right here. to see which part of this I want to use. I think I'm gonna I like the randomness. Oh yeah. I think it's coming out nice. Okay, hopefully I had it in frame. So let's glue this down. You really need a good amount to make sure that you have it completely adhered.
It'll look better when it's dry. Right now we're seeing white globs. I'm trying to push some of the black threads the way I want them. I wish there were more threads going out this way. Maybe I can create some. I'm just going to grab some of these here on the end and see if I could patch it. they're not going the way I want. <laughs> there we go, we've got some. I just want to have a little balance here. Let me see. Something going on right here. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and then we will trim up the extra papers. And this is going to have a satin finish on it. I think it'll be really nice and it'll go really well with the other two. I'll put them up on the screen. Okay, so it's the next day and it's completely dry. I'm just going to trim off the edges don't have much to trim here. I'm very happy with the with the, this one. I these colors just like really speak to me. So I'm just really very pleased with the way this one came out. So what I want to do now is do a um, I might do some touch-ups of some of the paint just because some of it is bothering me <laughs> and then um, after that I will after that dries I will do a um, satin varnish I might kind of touch up some of the black on the edges as well I don't like to see the white of the paper so I'm going to do a slight very lightly um, oh, I see a little piece here I'm going to have to cut. Um, and then I'll do a satin varnish on it, and I think it'll be really good with the others. Okay, so let me get some paint. Okay, so I have a couple of small brushes, and I'm just going to mix some of, because it's not like solid black. Oh, I guess I have to get a little bit of... Uh, Magenta, not magenta, quinacridone red. And maybe a little bit of yellow as well in order to mix up that color. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit of both of these colors. So I might have to mix them together to get a color that will look okay there. And I might have to even mix it. No, I have to see. I'm not liking this brush. It doesn't have any any pull to it. Um, yeah, it's not giving me any resistance. I don't like that. But um, took away that really harshness. Let me put just a little bit more of the quinacridone red and then let me just dull it with my finger a little bit a little bit more yellow yeah I'm not liking this brush <laughs> okay find another brush let's see if this one this one might be better because it's 
the hairs are shorter. So I'm going to try to mix up a, a light black. Just, just for some of the areas that are kind of screaming out at me. It's, it's not a lot. Right here. I frequently like to finger paint. <laughs> some white on my brush. <clears throat> okay, so there's just this little area right here and maybe right here and maybe right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean my brush because it's got a lot of black on it. Try to mix up some, whoops, now it's got too much water on it. yellow. So I'm just dabbing because we have a textured print here. So I'm trying to match that same texture. pretty much does it. I like this lacing that's going on, so I'm leaving that. I am loving this area right here. I don't know, now that I see it upside down, it's, um, it's just beautiful the way these two papers blended together. Those two colors are just gorgeous. And I love how we just have that one different, tiny little bit of this purple color it, it's not anywhere else, but yet um, it's, it's just enough. Anyway, I'm very happy with this. I'm going to go find my satin varnish now. Okay, so this is the brand that I like, Liquitex Satin Varnish. It really dries beautifully. It's very fluid, very liquidy and I put a little bit too much. So I'm, I, I end up struggling because I put a little too much. So start with just a little amount and then add more if you need. Don't make my mistakes. Anyway, spreads out really nice. It's self-leveling. So in the end, you're gonna have an even coat. It's gonna level around the texture of that mulberry paper, which is gonna be you know, a better result than if I had used something that covered it like a resin. And the satin varnish is a little less glossy than the, uh, than the gel gloss, obviously. So for now, I'm going to let it dry and then I will, I will do the edges. And I might do a second coat. Okay, so I'm really, really happy. This, um, this in introduction of the dark paper 
that I decided um, when I was struggling to try to figure out this bottom part, oh my God, it just it makes the whole thing. So I'm really, really happy that I still had some of those papers left. If the purpose of you doing gel prints is for collage, then you need to have variations. You can't always have like busy stuff. You have to also have quieter things, you know, shades of dark colors, shades of light colors. That's given me an idea for another video. But anyway, you need subtle papers as well as your big splashy ones. That gives your, your work some unique um, variety in, um, in your collage. Anyway, so I'm really happy with that came out. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.